Here we have a Windows 7 machine with multiple local accounts on the welcome screen. To hide those, I'm going to log on as a user with administrative access. And once we've logged in successfully, we're going to edit the registry. So in the search run box, type reg edit and hit enter, and the registry editor will open. I'm just going to maximize that so we can see what we're doing. Now the key we're looking for is HK Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, Windows NT, pull that across a little bit, current version, Win Logon. There it is there. So, HK Look Machine, Software, Microsoft, Windows NT, current version, when the log on. And we're going to right click that and create a new key. Call it Special Accounts, there's no space in between. Create it as you see it here. And then we're going to right click that key and create another key called User List. Again, no space, spell it exactly as you see it on the screen. Over in the right hand window, right click and create a new D Word 32 bit value and put in the name of the account that you want to hide. If you look at its value, it will automatically be set to zero, which means hide from the welcome screen. So I'm just going to continue pasting in all the other users that I want to hide from the welcome screen as new D Word 32 bit values because they're all set to zero, they'll be hidden from the welcome screen. Now, if at any point you want to put them back on the welcome screen, you can simply select them and change the value to 1. And now SQL reporting, for example, would be listed on the welcome screen. I don't want it on there, so I'm going to change that to 0. Now, I could put the local administrator on here and set it to 0, and it would be hidden. But I'm not going to do it that way. Microsoft best practice says that the local user account for administrator, or the local admin account, should be disabled. So I'm going to hide it from the welcome screen by simply disabling the account. Again, I could have put it in there if I wanted to. However, I'm going to hide it simply by disabling it. Just as a common sense check, I'm going to make sure that my user is a local administrator before I disable the local administrator. And now you'll see, when I log off, that only my user account will be pre presented on the welcome screen. That's it's done. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to come and see us at www.picknetlife.com.